We are now at Medinet Habu, the great mortuary temple of Pharaoh Ramses III, who reigned from approximately 1194 BC to approximately 1163 BC. We see here the two windows of appearance in which the Pharaoh would talk to his subjects. The outer entrance, we see two statues of Sekhmet, the lioness goddess, helping protect the, the entrance of the temple. And this is the other one. Looking at the inner wall now, now we can see Ramses III smiting his enemies in front of a, a, a approving Amon Ra or Amon Re, the sun god. Uh, you can see clearly Ramses has as many enemies by the, collectively by their hair. And Ramses III fought many enemies in his, in his uh, lifetime. He was the last great pharaoh of the new kingdom. And again, Amon Re, the sun god, looks on approvingly. And here we see Ramses III and he's fighting the Libyans. All being knocked helter-skelter. What we see here is a scene from the first Libyan invasion of Egypt, which occurred in the fifth year of Ramses III reign in approximately 1189 BC. A war scene. Uh, we, we see Ramses III offering to Amun-Re, uh, the sun god, and Mut, the war goddess, uh, captives, sea peoples that were captives. All captives here from the various confederation of barbarians that tried to destroy Egypt. Ramses III destroyed the confederation of barbarians in a great land battle and a great sea battle, which occurred in the year 8 of his reign in approximately 1186 BC. Here is Amon Re, the sun god, with the goddess of war Mut standing behind him. Looking very pleased with Ramses III and, as, I, as we saw a moment ago, um, prisoners uh, of the sea peoples like the Weshesh and the Peleset and the Danu, who caused such tremendous destruction in the civilized world. Only Egypt was able to fight them off. Here is another scene of Ramses III with his captives. Sea Peoples, a confederation of barbarians known as the Sea Peoples. These uh, prisoners look pretty miserable and with reason. They caused such devastation in Greece, Crete, Cyprus. They destroyed the Hittite Empire, Syria. All these nations were destroyed and only Egypt was able to stop them. You could justifiably argue that this was Egypt's finest hour. Here we see a scene of Egyptians counting the severed penises which they'd cut off from the dead Sea People warriors. This was the method in which the Egyptians counted the number of dead enemy soldiers. However, the Egyptians only did this if the dead enemy soldier was not circumcised. If the dead enemy soldier was circumcised, his hands were cut off. So it was by using these two methods, the Egyptian authorities obtained an exact amount of how many enemy soldiers they had killed in battle. The sea peoples begging for mercy. And uh, they were made into slaves. And 
On another wall, looking down below Ramses the third, we see more prisoners of the Confederation of Barbarians known as the Sea Peoples. Many different tribes attacked on land and sea and it ended in disaster. This was the second attempt by the Sea Peoples to conquer Egypt. The first invasion of Egypt by the Sea Peoples and the Libyans combined occurred around the year 1219 BC, but Pharaoh Merneptah stopped them in a great land and sea battle at an unidentified location called Pyre, which was probably in the north of Egypt. Ramses III crushing the sea peoples, the barbarians, under his feet. A scene of Ramses III with his soldiers. In front of him are more prisoners of war of sea peoples. The last great temple of the New Kingdom and the best preserved. Absolutely magnificent. It's a close-up look from where I just was. Pharaoh Ramses III. And on another wall we see the Pharaoh. Here we see a scene of the Egyptian authorities counting the severed hands of the dead, circumcised enemy soldiers. Below that, we see severed penises of dead, uncircumcised enemy soldiers. Ramses crushing the enemy with his horse and chariot. The sea people all knocked flying in the great land battle. total chaos among the enemy. And on this wall again you see, and the colors are quite well preserved, uh, prisoners of the Sea Peoples, the Confederation of Barbarians, the Weshesh, the Danu, the Palisep, and more. All prisoners from the great land and sea battle, which Ramses III fought uh, separately. First on land and then the seas. Over here in colors very well preserved, we see vultures on the ceiling, and of course they're there to protect the great pharaoh. We see the hall of columns, what's left of them, which were used by the pharaoh, and the nobles, and the priests, and any other high officials. 
on the outside of the temple now, we see Ramsey III again. And the prisoners are the Confederation of Barbarians. Known as again the Sea People. See the famous scene of Ramses III great naval victory over the sea peoples and it's only here that you'll actually see a naval battle make the outline of that boat a ship Another one of their enemy vessels, they were the Battle of the Nile. An overturned ship falling into the water. In the year 11 of his reign, there was a second Libyan invasion. Now we see in this wall, Ramses III destroying the enemy at a place called Hatcho. There's the Egyptian archers and the infantry. And a battle scene up here. The Libyans being thrown into total confusion great victory in the year 11, destroying the second Libyan invasion of Egypt. The Battle of Hatcho occurred in the Delta region of northern Egypt and was fought in approximately 1183 BC. The defeated enemy of Libyan, not Libyan, soldiers flying head over heels. destroyed by the Egyptians, as are the Libyans being thrown over. Here is the scene of Ramses III hunting wild bull in the delta. And a scene of fish. And above that, he's more hunting scenes. Ramses is hunting gazelles in this picture. Ramses about to smite a Libyan. And he's about to smite more Libyans. You can see they're pleading for mercy. And the same in this scene. The part of the temple that's coming up next was originally built by Queen Hatshepsut, the great conqueror Pharaoh Tutmosis III, Ramses III, and later rulers. The great Tutmosis III reigned from approximately 1479 BC to approximately 1425 BC. This section here is Greek Ptolemic. Not shown in this temple is Ramses III's victory over the Syrites, a Bedouin tribe, a minor victory, Medinet Habu.